Well, I'm here at the last day of SSCR 24 at the World Intellectual Property Organization. I'm talking to Ellen Broad. And Ellen, can you start out by telling us a little bit about who you are uh, and uh, who you represent at this meeting? Sure. So I'm here with the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions. I'm the Australian representative on the Copyright and Other Legal Matters Committee. And uh, professionally, are you, are you uh, a librarian? No, I have a law degree. I work in copyright advocacy and public policy in Australia. Okay, where, where'd, you, where'd you go to law uh, school in Australia? University of Western Australia. So. Okay, is that where you grew up, in Western Australia? Yes. What town? Uh, in Perth, Perth, in the main part, but my Perth. family's from the country, so for the early part of my life I was in rural Australia. Okay, you ever see a kangaroo? There are kangaroos that jump into my backyard in Canberra, so you can say I've definitely seen some. <laughs> I think there's more kangaroos in Canberra than there is anywhere else. <laughs> So, so where do you live now? In Canberra. I've been based in Canberra for almost two years, working in this copyright field. And what drew you to, to the field of copyright? It's, it's, uh... Look, it's always interesting. It's always incredibly ideological. And the public interest issues in copyright really appeal to me as something that we should be progressing a lot further. So. <clears throat> Uh, if you were just a, in, a, in a short amount of time, if you were to tell people that are watching this video what happened this week as far as libraries are concerned, what, how would you sum it up? Look, not a lot has happened with libraries this week, which is disappointing, but we hope strongly that that's because we'll see uh, great progress on an instrument for the visually impaired. So it's disappointing. Libraries haven't had a lot of time for discussion here but we are going to push very strongly for the exceptions for libraries and archives to be included on the next agenda and uh, hopefully get libraries also included in the instrument for the visually impaired as well. So for, from a libraries and archives standpoint, not a lot has happened, but there's been a lot of time spent on an instrument for the visually impaired, which we're happy about. Can you explain just a little bit about how, how IFLA uh develops its positions on these issues and, and strategy. Uh, on the libraries issues or the... As it relates to, the, to this institution, the World Intellectual Property Organizations, it's, it's negotiations here. So the Copyright and Other Legal Matters Committee has representatives from each country. So we communicate with our member organizations with at both an international level and a country level. And we work quite strongly on dr creating draft text. So IFLA created draft text to assist in the WIPO discussions by member states. We develop cheat sheets for the delegates. We do a lot of blogging and a lot of lobbying our representatives at the national level. So I talked to the Australian representative to WIPO before coming. Um, so that's kind of our process. And what would the benefits of, you're, you're pushing for a treaty here at WIPO for libraries. Definitely. And the treaty that we're looking for is to establish minimum standards for library and archive exceptions. So something that creates a really great foundation for libraries internationally and archives internationally to undertake necessary preservation and provision of access to content, particularly in the digital environment. It's really essential that exceptions are given the same status at an international kind of binding treaty level as protections for rights holders. They've always been very much a part of copyright as well. And what, what would the benefits be for people in Australia if the treaty moves forward in, in the form that you've proposed? As a binding instrument, we'd have to wait and see what is included in the instrument because, for example, Australia, we already have quite strong preservation exceptions, document supply, interlibrary loan, which are some of the key exceptions that would be in this minimum standard treaty for libraries and archives. What would be really positive for libraries in Australia is some um, binding uh, clarification on copyright and contracts, copyright and digital licensing, but we're still a long way off from those kind of new exceptions. Uh, bluntly, I think it's going to be a lot harder to put in new exceptions into Australian law than to have the existing copyright uh, library documents applying into library loan provisions um, cemented at an international level. 
Well, thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to add before we conclude the interview? It's the last day of SACR and what I would really like to see is a binding treaty for the visually impaired confirmed at this session. It's my first SACR session and I think that anything less than a treaty for um, securing access to copyright content for the visually impaired would be a failure for the committee. Thank you very much.